How's it going, everybody? Just going to work on getting this chain and this bracket off. Went ahead and pulled off the chain guide on the, on the back, and it's just two screws. It ain't no big deal. We'll do the same on the front. At this point, I'm going to pull this front sprocket off right here and uh, change it to a 13 tooth. And on the back side, it's a standard 42 tooth sprocket. We're going to keep the same on the back and change the chain out. If you're looking at the KLX 250, there's a washer right there that's bent over the head of the of the of the nut that's holding the sprocket on. So you got to bend that that uh, washer down and make it flat so that you can get a, a socket on there. So that's what's next. This, there's a bend in the washer right here that I pried up a little bit, and we're just going to flatten it out so that we can get a, a socket, a full bite on a socket on there. Just like that. Just gonna spray some PB Blaster Penetrating Catalyst. Loosen up all the grit and the grime that's in there, and uh, it's a right handed thread, so it's gonna come off like right and uh, get after it. Just like that. All right. And if you notice, that washer that was bent over, it's got little, t it's got little teeth on the spline. They fit right down in there. Make sure you pull that all off, and we can get to pulling the chain off now. Get in here and change this. Ma the, take the master link off of things. It's this clip right here. Help it, help it along the way. Maybe. Let me look like a poodle. I love the power. Well, there we go. Master links off. We can roll this chain right on out. Just like that. All right, we got the Renthal 14 tooth uh, front sprocket. There we go. And that's a brand spanking new Renthal sprocket. Just wanna make sure I put it on the right way. Say flat side out. That's the way the old one is. It's got a ring on the back here. And the old one has a ring on the back just the same, so. And even though it's got this dust ring on here, uh, from what I understand from a couple of people that I've talked to is that this is not necessarily needed uh, on replacements. Um, I'm sure somebody will know in the comments below uh, if it's needed or not. We're not going to put it on there because I don't know how to get that thing off of there. If you, if you could get it off of there, but uh, we're going to go without it. So. <clears throat> Line it. Line our teeth back up, and uh, uh, put the washer back on. Get it aligned with the teeth that are on there. All right, we'll just get our finger tight for right now. Alright. Make sure you're going the right way. Alright. We're going to bend that flat back over with. Hmm. That would be a good good way to bend that back over okay yeah all right and hit her knock her down flat with a punch
What's the point of that washer doing that? Well, the washer is keyed to the shaft, okay? Right. So anytime the shaft turns, the washer turns with it. Right. And with it bent down over the nut, it means that the nut can't back off independently of the shaft. Gotcha. It locks all three pieces together. Gotcha. So there's no way that that nut can come off. All righty. That's nice and lock, locked down now. Let you guys in on a secret. What happened is, is that all all the rear sprocket bolts are super loose. These are not pre pre loosened, so it's very very concerning. But would lead to believe that it's better to have found it here than on the trail. Well, that's a tap. Yeah, you're coming out. You can pull that by hand. Yeah, I'm going. Yep. Take those spacers off the way they're oriented and put your axle back through the swing arm uh -huh. and stick those spacers on the way they came off the bike. Okay. And that way you'll remember when you go put it back together how it all goes back together. <laughs> Come back around here and pull these out. 